Dad? My God, Zoe. You have not been an easy person to get hold of. Where have you been? Home. Casablanca. Around. Sorry, I, I didn't think you'd be so worried. Worried? Well, that's an understatement. You don't have to lie anymore. I know you haven't been home. What do you mean? Of course I've been. After our last conversation, I logged into the house and spoke with Wonkers. He told me you haven't been home for at least a week. Dad... What I don't get is why you had to lie to me. Dad, it's a long story. I had to go away for a little while. So where have you been? I'm not doing this over the phone. I'm home again now. Ask Wonkers if you want to. Hell, check the cameras if you don't believe me. I don't know what to believe. Was it Reza? Yes. No. I had to help him. But that wasn't the only thing that... I don't think we should talk about this over the phone. When are you coming back? I'm still stuck out here. Another couple of days at the very least. Look, I'm sorry for lying to you. But I had my reasons. I didn't want you to worry. Well, that backfired. I know. But you don't have to worry about me anymore. I'm back and I'm staying put. I'll tell you everything when you get home, okay? Okay. I'll try to speed things up at my end, but to... No. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just come home when you can. All right. Take care, Zoe. I'll call you tomorrow. And try to stay out of trouble. Yeah. Bye, Dad. But nothing hurts now That didn't hurt before So I won't pretend But it was the end of the world But nothing hurts Nothing hurts now That didn't hurt before So I won't pretend But it was the end of the world Nothing hurts now No, nothing hurts now Hello, Zoe. What? What are you doing here? How did you get in? I came to talk to you. You've been on a very long journey. I'm glad you finally made it back. How did... You. I've travelled around the world, but it all comes back to you. Faith, she was your experiment. Jeeva's experiment. She is. I mean, she was. But we weren't the ones who made her into what she is today. That was Watikorp. That was Pete's. I wanted Faith to live out her life in peace with a foster family. She didn't have long. And she'd been through enough already. But Watikorp had other plans. They needed a suitable human subject for testing their drug Morpheus with Dreamnet. So they took Faith away. I know. They put her through hell. I never wanted that. You don't get to make excuses. She was your creation. She was your responsibility. Fair enough. Looking back, I realize it was a mistake to let them take her. But Wadi Corp owns us. We don't get to have a say. You're not telling me anything I don't know. Why are you here? Did you bring the eye with you? The twins? Go ahead, do your worst. I'm too tired to care anymore. I'm here to ask for your help. My... help? What do you mean? I want to stop Watikorp from releasing the Dreamer, and I want to stop the static from spreading any further. You may consider me cruel and uncaring, but I'm simply pragmatic. There's nothing to be gained from Wadi succeeding with their plans, or the static causing another collapse. And I also have... personal reasons for wanting to stop Pete's. 
He has already caused much pain, and he will cause untold damage if his plans are carried out. What makes you think I'll help you with anything? I'm not expecting you to help me, but you will help Faith. You won't let her suffer anymore. And you will stop Watticorp, even if they hadn't killed your friend. How do you know all this? I planted a bug on you when we first met, Zoe. It's been sending me data at regular intervals. I've heard everything you've said. I know everything that's happened. I've helped you along the way, and now you will help me, because that's the only way you can help Faith. The only way you can avenge Reza and stop Watticorp. It's as simple as that. How can I help Faith? She's already dead, isn't she? Yes, and no. I can't explain it, but you've seen it for yourself, Zoe. She's in the networks, in Dreamnet, on the wire. Whether it's her, her memories, her soul, I don't know. It's not for me to theorize. The fact is that a part of her is inside the networks, inside Dream Core. And she's suffering. But you can help her, Zoe. If I do this, I won't stop with Watty or with Pete's. You need to be held accountable, too. I'm a marked woman. The moment the eye finds me, I'm dead. Wadi doesn't want me walking around, telling people what I know. If that's not accountability, I don't know what is. And right now, all I want is revenge for what they've done to me and my company. If it means losing everything, so be it. So what is it you want me to do? You need to go into Dreamnet and convince Faith to let go. Once that happens, the network will shut down. And Angana, Dream Core, will disconnect from the wire. Convince Faith to... How do I do that? And why me? Because you have a connection with her. I don't know what it is. You seem to share some of her more esoteric, genetic qualities. And she's taken a shine to you. Besides, no one else has been able to find out where in the network Faith or her residue... Her memories reside. I've tried, but it's like she's not act. You, on the other hand, have met her several times. She's reaching out to you. She needs you. And to help her, you must first help me. How? I've brought a dreamer. You go inside, talk to Faith, find a way to make her let go. Whatever she's become, a, a virus, a ghost in the machine, only she can stop this. If she keeps holding on, if her influence keeps spreading across the wire, it will eventually shut down completely. We're talking days. Maybe less than that. If she can do that, what is she? I don't know. Like I said, a ghost in the machine. Her body is gone, but her mind... They pumped her full of Morpheus. They murdered her with an overdose. Who knows? Maybe there is something as banal as an immortal soul. And that's what's left of her. She died while she was inside Dreamnet, dreaming a very, very powerful dream. Maybe she's still in that dream, and that's what's spreading across the wire. Whatever the answer, it doesn't matter. The fact is that Faith is in there somehow, inside Dreamnet, inside Angana. And she needs to leave. You're saying she needs to die? She's already dead, Zoe. That's a fact. Whatever's left of her isn't happy in there. She needs to... shut down. Move on, whatever you want to call it. And you expect me to ask her to let go? To die? Yes, because it's the right thing to do. Listen to me. We're running out of time. I need you to make a choice. Either you do this, or I leave, and you never see me again. If that happens, the wire will break down, causing untold damage. Watty Corp may still succeed in releasing the Dreamer, and Pete's plans could still come to fruition. Who is the greater evil here? Him, or me? I think you're despicable. You used an innocent person as a test subject. You made her, and then you discarded her. And for what? To research dreams? Still, I won't let the bad guys win. I've come this far, and I'm going all the way. 
Someone told me not long ago that I lack commitment. Well, connect me to the dreamer. I'm going to give you a highly concentrated dose of Morpheus, more than what you've received before. It won't harm you, but it will allow you to control your environment. That way, Faith won't be able to push you out again. What do I tell her? How do I make her let go? I don't know. You have to figure that out on your own. This is unknown territory. Are you ready? I'm ready. Good luck. And good night, Zoe.